Hello and welcome to this exclusive Web Design Tuts Plus screencast on the Pages feature within Fireworks. We're going to be using Fireworks CS5 here, although the feature was introduced in earlier versions. If you do have an earlier version, then don't worry, you probably will be able um, to complete the majority, if not the entirety, of this screencast. So we're going to head over to Fireworks here, and as you can see, I've got a very basic website here. Or rather, a website mock-up. If we go over to the layers tab, and by the way, I've slightly changed my UI from the default, um, just to extend the pages pane for this specific screencast. If we navigate over to the layers tab, you'll see that it's pretty much set up just as if it was from Photoshop. Now, I've basically copied very roughly and very quickly a uh, Photoshop mockup into Fireworks, just simply by copy pasting. Now, this is kind of what you'd expect in Photoshop, where we've got a header. Um, the header content in one folder which we can hide and unhide and the same with the footer where we can hide and unhide and then different content folders so page one page two and page three so this is probably what you'd expect in photoshop now photoshop is aimed at more at graphic and maybe print designers rather than web web mockups and um, that's where fireworks comes in fireworks is great for actually creating web mockups and web wireframes because you can actually add a level of interactivity into it and of course you can lay it out like a website you can actually create pages and organize it as you would on a real website so here we have one page and i can name that anything i want i just have to double click just like a layer in photoshop just double click and type whatever i want i'm just going to type this as maybe default now I can right click and I can add a new page if I wanted to, duplicate the page, delete the page, rename the page, or even set it as the master page. Now we'll come into setting this master page just a little bit later. I can also choose if I want a numbered, and I can even set different thumbnail options so I can maybe increase the size. I'm not going to do that. Now down here at the bottom of the pane, you can see I've got a little drop down menu here. Pre pressing that will allow me to actually navigate between the pages. Obviously I've only got one page here. But if I had multiple ones, I could access them from here. I can delete a layer, or rather a page, by selecting this little bin icon. And I can actually create one by selecting this kind of like upturned note icon. So across in my layers um, section or tab, I've got multiple folders. Now what I want to do is I want to separate up each of these three content folders into their own pages. Because that's what it's all about. So to add a new page, I'll simply select that upturned note and I instantly get a blank new page. So how would I go about actually adding this stuff? Well, I'm just going to do a simple copy and paste. I'm going to, this is obviously page one, so I'm just going to copy page two's content. And it's very simple, I'm just going to drag and control copy. Or rather control C. Paste that in, and there we've got a second page. We can call this the gallery page. If I wanted to create a third page, maybe to display this kind of like block text element I can do the exact same copy and then I'll just add a new page and maybe call it the about page now notice something different about this um, this is actually put into second pa in place that's simply because why I selected it so maybe if I want to move the about page to maybe a later on stage or rather further down in the layers panel I can simply hold and drag further down and it'll move. Now back to this default um, page or rather now it's actually the home page. I can just swap over this content onto page one. So there we've actually set up three very simple pages. We've got our home page here, our gallery page and our about page. Now something interesting to note is this is just all copied. They're all independent pages. Nothing's linked and nothing's copied well rather it is copied but rather moved it's nothing is they're not linked up in it with common elements i can completely edit this page and the effects aren't seen on the other pages it's completely independent however to be honest this kind of content such as the logo or the navigation is actually something that is common across all pages and if i wanted to edit the logo it should really apply to all pages just as a real website would. So how exactly would I go about approaching that? Well, it's very simple. It's called the master page. So I'm just going to start a new page here. And I'm going to call it master. Just for ease, I'm going to move this up to the top. 
this master page is basically a blank page at the moment but whatever content I put on this master page will apply to every other page and what I want to do is to make this as the master page I have to right click and simply set as master page you can see a little extra icon appears in here and in the drop down menu it hides it as a page and adds the little asterisk afterwards so yeah we've got our different pages and anything I put on the master page is going to be shown on these pages so I can simply add maybe a box and that box is seen on every other page now the elements that I, I would want to include are maybe these header elements and these footer elements so that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and copy across notice how that's gone but when I go to the master page and paste that in which it doesn't seem to have done my apologies I'm gonna copy that pop in the master page there I've actually deleted that there um, I haven't deleted it but that will apply onto each page and you can actually see it building up here so obviously I can't edit it on here now because it's set as a master page anything I can't edit on here anything that is appearing here has to be edited via the master page so I'm just going to delete these elements that are being copied across And then, now the only content which is actually appearing on these pages is the actual page content. All the header content and all the footer content is completely in um, is completely independent to the actual rest of the content. If I try and highlight it all, the only thing that's actually highlighted is this page content. And if we head back to the master page, I can maybe move this logo, and the effect will seen on every other page. pretty cool so now what we should start a look at is actually linking the pages up we've got a master page here which includes the navigation menu well what about these other pages how are we going to navigate to them in our mockup well we're going to use this tool across here the rectangular hotspot tool I'm going to select that and I can change the shape if I want so I'm going to head over to the master page and I'm going to draw a hotspot across the home I'm going to add a link now how do I link to a page well fireworks does it all we've already got home.htm here which if I click that that's gonna link it to home and I can also set alternative text or even a target if I want to just for the sake of viewing I can actually change the fill color of that kind of like icon it doesn't really make that much difference so I'm just gonna draw some of the hotspots and there so we we'll added some hotspots into there and that will all then link up to these other pages now just to demonstrate this I'm actually going to export it but rather than export it as a full HTML Fireworks actually allows you to export it as a PDF which is great if you're creating a interactive PDF but simply to avoid browser interpretation I'm just going to save it as a PDF just so I can demonstrate the effects of the hotspot so just going to wait for it to save that And there, so we've got a PDF here, and as you can see, the content's being copied across. It's a bit over-resoluted because it's it's only an 800 pics by 490 documents. But if we click home, it's going to take us to home page. If we click if we click about, it's going to take us to our about page. So the high the actual hotspots do work and function as you'd expect on a real website. So that's just a brief overview of the pages feature in Fireworks. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of some of the basic features. So if you want to set as a master page, you simply right click and click set as master page. From that same menu, you can set, you can add a new page, you can duplicate the page, delete it, rename it, or you can actually link it to the master page. Now, pages are completely independent and each have their own layers. And to add a hotspot, we simply use this hotspot tool with a kind of like little chain link in the web box of this side and we can draw a hotspot we can change the shape if we want so we can have an oval or even a polygon
so that's a brief overview of fireworks. If you want any more screencasts to be seen, then simply head over to the comments section and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see in, in future screencasts. This has been Connor Turnbull for Web Design Tuts Plus at webdesign.tutsplus.com.